even if it feels like you are just one person, powerless to change the state of the world. I assure you that this is just an illusion because we are one consciousness expanding and contrasting together. As prophecy has said, and at the end of days, the first sign shall appear in the heavens. Justice shall fall upon the world of men, and the armies of light and shadow shall clash across the fields of eternity. And yet, the collective consciousness hasn't gotten the message, and we continue to hold fear, hate, and separation. When we are beings of love, this causes us to vibrate in disharmony. It's one thing for it to just be one person, but it's another for our entire country to be vibrating at a state of fear. We haven't healed from any of the trauma that we've collectively experienced. Look at President Kennedy's assassination, for instance. We didn't band together from a place of love to see that fear of change brought such a level of disharmony to a powerful group of people, whomever they may be. And they felt they had no choice but to eliminate the greatest president to ever live. Instead of pointing fingers, starting conspiracy, and war against each other, we should have looked within ourselves to find our own fears of change and tended to that part within us as we would a child in pain. And because we didn't, again and again, our country experiences horrible things like Columbine, the Oklahoma City bombing, leading us up to 9-11, that ultimately was a catalyst for Mother Nature to take its reins, triggering the tsunamis and hurricanes. But we attempted to fight the pain away, bringing that disharmony to grow and grow to overwhelming levels, like now. And Mother Gaia is just ridding herself of the toxic energy. As a society, we have been living for so long in emotional dark age, disconnected from our own internal guidance system and detached from the world around us. As the planet has shifted into the golden age and people have started to awaken they search for solutions to solve what they know is not working, but they felt powerless to do so. As just one person, how could they change the world, they thought. The only way this destruction will ease up is if we release fear, hate, and the illusion of separation to allow our hearts to open with the willingness to find compassion for all that we have deemed as against us. Shifting our focus to look how everything that causes us pain and destruction is only trying to help us in some way. Because this universe and our bodies are never against us. They are only trying to help us get what we want, but are unwilling to see or to go for directly. We have to stop looking outside of ourselves. Stop looking for source to do the work for us. Because the universe doesn't feel things as painful 
or see things as good and bad. It feels your vibration and your desire and it finds the quickest way to bring it to you. We didn't come here to be punished or to suffer living in separation. Transmutation of the lower densities is upon us now and Mother Nature is purging these energies from her planet. The only way to safety is to do the same thing inside of your own being. Then you will be divinely protected because your frequency will be in alignment with the Earth's frequency, leaving her no need to purge your disharmony for you. Lower densities of fear, hate, and illusion of separation causes your frequency to vibrate in disharmony, and it doesn't serve you. And to Mother Gaia, our disharmony feels like food poisoning that she needs to purge. Rid disharmony from your vibration, and she won't need to purge so violently. The time is now. Release your fear of pain and open your heart fully and completely, knowing that you are safe and protected. Remember what you came here to bring to this world and stand for love, peace, and harmony for all that is. We are an interconnected universe if you feel like something or someone is against you, just remember that that is you and find how you can show love and compassion to the outer reflection of the vibrational frequency you hold deep down inside of you that you can't even see. If you think that the elements are against you, try to understand You've been asking for an outside source to bring change, forgetting to change within. And now, Mother Nature is bringing the change for us, and we make an enemy of it. If you see how our planet could be better, if you see how we could cohabitate in harmony, then choose to lead the change. Honor your fear for wanting to keep you safe, but understand that the thing that once kept you safe is now causing pain within and destruction of our planet. So I ask that you release what no longer serves you. Release it. Allow it to Go into the earth to be transformed, allowing love to fill the open spaces that remain within you, knowing that you are safe and that you are loved and that you are loved and that we hold the power to shift the winds and calm the seas and put out the fires by uniting as one love for all that is, because together we rise and apart we fall. I am with you, Earth Guardians. Now is the time. Hold hands as we make a circle around the continents. Projecting love, calm, peace, flowing together in harmony. The time is now. I love you all. We can do this. I promise you. The 
only way for it to be okay and for us not to have to rebuild from the ashes is to stand together now stand together with love absence of fear and remember why you came here you are special you do have the power to change the entire planet that is why you are here light workers remember it's time to wake up and remember